Yeah. This is deep house. This is deep house. This is deep house. This is deep. This is house. This is deep. This is house. I'm an Ableton user. Hey everyone, this is Ed One. Master. Salut tout le monde. Buongiorno. Today I'm going to switch to Ableton. No! It's been a great time using FL Studio for around 10 years. I'm gonna see if it's possible to make music using Ableton. Prison looking dog. Duh. I am not a child anymore. I'm a Chad. I'm a trainer. I'm a real producer. I need a hoodie like that. Producer hoodie? Nah. FL Studio God, please. Don't hate me. Maybe I will come back to you. Edward, you better never switch to Ableton. You know this is an inferior doll. I'm very angry. Tell all the producers to use FL Studio on me. No start sound. That's very professional. FL Studio shortcuts are not working. I want to make a cake drum. Cake drum. Drums. Can I make something? I don't get it. <laughs> Why? I just dragged and dropped it. Now what? Where? I just... Can I just write some notes? I'm a, I'm a musician. I want to musicalize my ideas. Please. FL Studio is so good for that. Okay, I can see the BPM is 120. That's good. Instruments. Okay. Synth key. Yes. Accordion. Sync. This is pretty cute. Can I just put it here? Just put it here. This is working. I want to record the notes. Where can I do my arrangement? Where can I create the new patterns? The, the main thing I want to do is record notes. This is like impossible to do it. It looks so complicated. Bruh. <laughs> I feel like a monkey using this software. <laughs> create view full screen second window. Yes, please, baby, give me a second. Oh, there we go. This is kind of the playlist. Well, that's what I wanted on the first place. The color scheme is very, very hipster. It makes me want to make minimal music for some reason. It's not very inspiring. I know the, it's, it's just a matter of taste and interface, but I really love the look and feel of FL Studio. That's, that's what the problem here. Alt and scroll will make it taller. Can I just delete this using the delete key? Yes. Play it. Spacebar. Space. The most used key in every program. It's meant to help you jump in a video game. You wanna run? You wanna jump? You're gonna fail. It's the one you always use to play back your song. And here, spacebar. It's doing nothing. Okay, it's playing, but it's not playing. See here, it's playing. Now I get it why you guys are looking for FL Studio beginner tutorials, because I really need the Ableton beginner tutorial to start with. Okay, there we go. We have this. Okay, if I double click on it, I somehow fix it. Okay, let's put this deep house loop here. Yes, we have some sound. Yes, we can loop it. <laughs> This is deep house. This is deep house. This is deep house. This is deep. This is house. This is deep. This is house. I'm an Ableton user. Honestly, this would already be enough for some kind of TikTok hit. But let's make it a bit more better. Oh, this is cool. Synth wave. Sick. Sick. 10 out of 10. Sounds professional and all. Okay, now I see this one is more like vivid. I think it means it's not muted. I think I muted the other one. Yes. I want to... I want to duplicate my bass line. <laughs> so I can see it's possible to make music. But it's pretty hard. Ah, now I get it. Okay, cool. That's where you can switch between the two. Tab. It's like handy. I'm an artist. I'm I'm producing. I'm creating. I'm a mixing engineer. I'm I know everything. Copy. Control C. Duplicate. Yeah. Hey. Already pasted next to our bar here, which is great because that's exactly what I wanted to do. Ableton. You you smart. Are 
getting somewhere, guys. I first studio god, please don't hate me. I actually think this is pretty nice. I just wish you could listen to the thing when you are changing the note. I know it's possible, but I guess that's what professionals do. They don't need to listen, they just know. A few moments later. This is going to be my background chords. Let's try and add an actual effect. That's not where you add the effects. Let's click here. I'm again mixing engineer mode. I can insert a plugin here. Plugins. Medium hall. Let's see. Boom. Oh! It's all wet. I feel a bit the same as when I started using FL Studio. It's like, we celebrate every moment. Classical compression. Let's add it before. Okay, now it's compressing my sound. Can I solo it? Okay, Ableton, solo my notes. You can actually play the notes by just placing your mouse here. I must save the project before it starts crashing. Let's try and add some delay here. Clean delay, pong. Yeah. Let's try and EQ it now using piano EQ one. <laughs> Is it already EQing everything for me? Oh yeah, nice. Okay, let me make some room for the synthesizer. Already. I actually like the fact you can preview your presets by clicking on them. This one is yellow. Ableton has decided. Now it's time to call my cat mother to make some noise melody. This is our new software. Mozart, great job. I love you, Mozart. Edwin, you better pay me now or it'll tell Fluid Studio God that you don't pray every day. Let's try to improve a little bit this melody she made. I like this part. Now let's stack one more layer. Another one. Oh! Wow! That's dramatic. So that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know if you think this is a pass or a fail, let me know if you're gonna switch to Ableton as well. <laughs> as we can see, it's possible to create some kind of musical piece of art using this boring looking software. It's still pretty hard for me to get used to all the shortcuts and stuff, nothing is impossible, that's what we can conclude from today's video. If you want more, let me know, the Ableton Ducer video series can continue if you guys want it, if you want to buy some Merch, go check out my shop, producer by edwan.com. Have fun producing whatever software you're using. And of course, don't forget to pray to a self studio.